Hey everyone, Josh Diekman here with Land Lakes, and today we're going to be talking about two of our sauce pouches. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Ultimate Cheddar Cheese Sauce Pouch, and we're going to be talking about the Mucho Queso Jalapeno Sauce. Now, I use these interchangeably all the time. The biggest difference is uh, that this one, the Mucho Queso, has a little bit of a jalapeno flavor to it. So if you're looking for something with a little more kick, you got the Mucho Queso. And if you're looking for a plain yellow cheddar cheese sauce, the ultimate cheddar cheese sauce is what you're looking for. Now, same with our ultimate white. These are both shelf stable. Three ounces meets one meat alternate, six ounces meets two. So again, shelf stable, six ounces gets you to your two meat alternates, three ounces to your one. Uh, so today we're gonna be talking about different things you can use this with. Now, of course, using it plain works really well. The mucho queso works great for nachos or queso dip with chips on the side in a bento box fashion. Uh, the ultimate cheddar works just as well, maybe with uh, soft pretzel or something along those lines. Uh, they work great on sandwiches and drizzles and things like that. And they can be used both hot and cold. Uh, so our hot and shell at the shelf stable, refrigerated then cold. Uh, so a lot of different things you can do with these and we like to use these for a lot of different reasons, but I wanna show you just real quickly the simplest way that you can use this. Outside of putting it in a container and serving it with a side of chips which obviously is, is, a, is a great, great concept as well. So we're gonna just be making a, a quick mac and cheese sauce. So if you're looking for something that's really simple, doesn't involve any labor really uh, much at all, and you're looking for something that can maybe wanna be sent home and heated up, or heated up and sent back to the classroom, or just something that's easily portioned and, and can be from there. And um, basically all we're doing is we're gonna be making a mac and cheese with this. So here I have one cup of pasta. Uh, that will equal my two grains. And I have our ultimate cheddar our sauce here right now. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is really simple. I'm gonna take three ounces to get to that one meat alternate. And I'm just gonna go ahead and top my pasta with it just like that. So real simple and easy that I can do with that. Uh, I can mix this in or I can send it home just like this. Cause once this gets microwaved or if it's in an oven safe container, once it goes in the oven, that cheese sauce is gonna melt and coat all those pastas really well. Uh, so again here, uh, three ounces to one cup for my two grain alternates. Uh, so right now I have one meat alternate on here and two equivalent grain. And so real simple if I want to, uh, if I want to, specialty mac and cheeses uh, are really uh, popular right now. Uh, almost every menu, every time I go out to eat has some sort of specialty mac and cheese. So I'm just gonna be adding one ounce of, of meat to this to make it a two meat alternate. I'm just adding some meatballs and just real simply, I'm gonna drizzle some barbecue sauce just right on top. Now again, all together, right now, this is cold. This can be put in a microwave, heat up just the same all the way in. Uh, you're looking at about uh, three minutes uh, on high, uh, two or three minutes on high in your microwave, and it's just ready to go. Uh, so again, real simple, real easy. Now you can also, if you'd like, go ahead and mix this up ahead of time. So here I have some cold pasta, and I'm gonna be adding my cheese sauce to this. So basically I'm gonna be, uh, again, it's one cup for every three ounces equals two, two grain to, um, to uh, one meat alternate. Uh, so I have my cheese sauce there, mix this up, and now I can portion this out cold if I want just like this. And this can also be uh, portioned, then frozen, and then thawed and reheated as well. So again, real simple, if you're looking for something and the, the mac and cheese pouch uh, is not the right fit for you, this is another concept you can do because basically you have one pouch now that can do many different things, okay? So speaking of pastas, uh, now this is served, this is uh, prepared cold and intended to be heated later, uh, but there's a, a great thing you do is also using this straight from the shelf as well. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna make a uh, pasta salad with it. Okay, pasta salad. So this is gonna be a Southwest pasta salad. And what I really like about this one when you're using the ultimate cheddar for this is it's kind of like a pot, it's a pasta salad, but it's almost kind of like a cold mac and cheese and it tastes fantastic. So it's really fun, really simple. So a Southwest style pasta salad. Basically I'm adding uh, black beans and I'm making a, a, a smaller portion for, for the video today. Uh, the full size recipes will be on our website at landalakesfoodservice.com. So here I have my pasta. I'm adding my black beans to this. I'm adding a corn mixture, roasted corn. 
and I'm adding some salsa, which this is really gonna kind of help they bring it together. It's gonna loosen up the cheese sauce a little bit and it's gonna really bring all those flavors together on that. So I got my salsa. From here, we're gonna add our either our mucho queso jalapeno or our ultimate cheddar. Just depends if you wanna have a little bit of extra kick using the mucho queso versus the ultimate cheddar. I'm using the mucho queso here today. Uh, but again, all of these recipes and pretty much anything you do with these sauces can be done interchangeably. So I'm adding up my cheese sauce to this now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a stir. Okay, now that we got this all mixed in, uh, you can tell it looks great. It looks like a kind of a, a mac and cheese, if you will, uh, but it, it tastes fantastic, uh, cold just like this. So again, right from shelf stable, right from the shelf, since it's shelf stable, right from storage, uh, right into your pasta salad, and it can be portioned and uh, put in the refrigerator to serve at a later time. It can be frozen and served later, uh, or it can be portioned and even served as a mac and cheese. So for example, we have a portion here uh, this can go right in the fridge, served as a cold uh, pasta salad, or this can easily be uh, in a microwavable container, two to three minutes on high in the microwave, and now you have a nice Southwest mac and cheese. Real simple, real easy, uh, great product to be able to send home or send to the classroom, uh, really nice and simple to go there. Uh, so that's a cold application. So what else can we do with this? Uh, well, for right now, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make a buffalo chicken queso dip. Okay, so a buffalo chicken queso dip. Uh, again, real simple. The last one used a few more ingredients, uh, which really try to keep everything that we're looking at, um, you know, between uh, under three, under five ingredients, uh, depending on what scenario you're in. Uh, so all these recipes that we're showing can be tailored to your specific scenario. So if you are interested in one of these concepts, but you want to have a little less ingredients or put together differently, reach out, let us know. We're happy to help you with that. Uh, but for the buffalo queso, I really like this one because it has a lot of great flavor to it. Uh, well, we're starting here, uh, I'm using our ultimate cheddar sauce this time, but again, the mucho queso, if you want that extra bite to it, uh, going just into our bowl like this. Uh, now, I this is cold here. Now you can have this heated if you'd like, but again, I think it works a lot easier being able just to take it right from the storage space and then right into your recipe and then right into your refrigerator or heat it in a half pan uh, or put in the steamer from there. Uh, so I have our ultimate cheddar sauce. Uh, I'm gonna be adding some buffalo sauce to this. Give it a nice, nice flavor to there. And I'm adding our diced chicken. Again, super simple, super easy. You're looking at three total ingredients. And we have a fun uh, buffalo chicken queso. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir this. And then from here, uh, again, I can either serve it like this or I can put it in the steamer and get it nice and hot. And um, we can serve it in a lot of different ways. Uh, works great as a dip by itself, uh, but also works great on um, different things like rice bowls and bento boxes. And of course makes a great spread for any sandwiches or wraps. Okay, so those were just a few ideas uh, using these sauces. We do have a lot of other ideas utilizing in different concepts, utilizing the mucho queso jalapeno and the ultimate cheddar sauce. So if you have any questions or want other ideas, check out our website at landalakesfoodservice.com uh, or reach out. We're happy to work with you to fit your scenario. If you need some ideas on how to serve lunch in the classroom utilizing cheese sauces or other ways to send lunches home that can be reheated later, please reach out. We'll be happy to help. Again, thanks a lot.